My name is Lucas Wong. I'm a Canadian pianist, and I had the pleasure just now playing on this fabulous instrument, the Fazioli F308. And I would like to take today's opportunity to tell you the journey of my discovery of this piano. So the first time that I sat in front of a F308 was back in Music China in Shanghai. So I was walking in Music China, like everyone else, checking out all the instruments and music and books. I saw the booth, the Fazioli booth, full of pianos. There were probably four, five, six, or more pianos there, and Mr. Fazioli was standing right in front of the F three o eight, and. He was kind enough to show me all the features of it, including this very special fourth pedal. It has four pedals, not three. So as a pianist, I was very excited because I heard about this piano for a long time, and I just couldn't wait that day to sit down and really get my hands-on experience with this pedal. And so, what's so special about this pedal? Well. As most pianists know, there are three pedals. There are standard, damper pedal, sostenuto pedal, and the una corda pedal. So the una corda pedal is the soft pedal that most people call it. But we have here the fourth pedal, which is also a soft pedal. So how are they different? Well. I'd like to show you a little bit how it sounds without these soft pedals, and then I'll show you the combination that you can try to explore the differences. And it's amazing because I think the first time when I sat down and and played on a F three o eight, I couldn't believe it. There there was magic happening right in front of my eyes, ears. All the sensories, everything—it was just pure magic. And so, later on, every moment I had、uh, in concerts, recordings, I always try to ask, "Is there Fazioli F three o eight?" And so, I was lucky enough to have made some recordings on it,、uh, including Baroque music and others as well, like classical, romantic. Modern music, and I think it's just so versatile. This pedal, what it can offer, that you've got to really, really listen and try it. So, first off, I'm going to play a passage from Debussy, Raffaele Donlo, Reflections in the Water, and I'm going to just show you what it sounds like without any soft pedal. Okay, so here is. Roughly download by DBC. Right away, you hear the transparency of the tone of this piano. And it's so beautiful, isn't it, that you can see the lights in the water reflecting, changing all the time. So even with just the damper pedal that I used, it already sounds great, right? Well, this is only the beginning of the exploration. So now I'm going to give another rendition of it with the una corda pedal, which. It shifts the keys and hammers left and right, resulting a different resonance and a more muted quality. So let's hear it.
it's different, isn't it? It's still very transparent, but the color is darker. Now, some pianists might prefer this way, but the good news is, if you like the sound to be softer, but still having the same overtones and resonance, you can try with the fourth pedal. Because what it does is, it moves the keys and hammers up and down. Keys down, so they become shallower, and the hammers will go higher, closer to the strings. Therefore, we can keep the same resonance while achieving a smoother touch, like gliding on the water. Yes, so that's a different effect than what I had done earlier, right? You can hear the same amount of brilliance and sparkle while the music has a softer touch to it. Oh, and one more thing is you can try both at the same time. So in this case, I would actually depress the two pedals together with my left foot. So let's hear how that makes everything different again. Wow, so that was so soft, but yet still very clear, right? So right, right away, we have so many more options to play on this special piano with four pedals. Because with an extra pedal, we sort of increase the possibility by a lot. And pianists, I think you should give this a try that Four pedals should not be anything that is a challenging for you because I heard back then Schubert had to play on pianos that had seven or more pedals. I think personally this is a very interesting adventure and your eyes and ears are in for a very very special treat. So. I really recommend you to hop on to one of these pianos if you had a chance, or go to a concert played by artists with this instrument. Mm -hmm. 